guys, welcome back to Deepak's Daily Reading. And today I'm going to be talking about The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen R. Covey, as well as it being in part by Sean Covey, his son. So the first chapter is about your reaction and being proactive with reactions. So the first element of it, the book feels a little bit dated, to be honest with you. I, 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 I'm going to work my way through it and see what I can learn, but I'm going to just pull out some of the interesting learnings from this morning at least. So the first thing is to change your paradigm, which means, I guess, to change your way of thinking and approach and way of looking at the world. So one thing I think that actually I really liked was be very mindful of the language you use because it can become a self-fulfilling prophecy. So use language with purpose and intention and don't speak in terms of limitations, speak in terms of expansion and engage with the law of assumption because it's more likely to become real then. So being mindful of language, I think, is really, really important. Considering love as a verb, a doing word. So that was really interesting that even when you have challenges in love and in friendship, love is an action a proactive action and the value of love or the feeling of love is actualized through action so you love someone and you demonstrate that love through action and then it can also in and of itself create love so even when there isn't love then you can instill feelings of love through actions and i think that relates to many things that we find in business and entrepreneurship that you begin with the action even if the feeling doesn't match the action or the behavior if you act enough then your feelings will begin to match the actions so that's how you can learn to love something that you initially don't enjoy so i think that's actually pretty good the next thing is that you can expand your circle of influence through a proactive response and building great habits so one of the things that We'll come to this actually with, actually no, we'll, yeah, we'll come to that later. But you're certain through, through proactive responses and building great habits. So proactive responses are of course the way that you respond to, to anger or discord or disharmony and anything of that ilk and then building great habits because people observe your actions and the way you carry and hold yourself. Certainly for myself, building in more discipline, I think is important with building great habits. So that's something. And then there's the haves versus the bees. I, I don't even remember what that's about, to be honest with you. And, 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 and also this concept of you changing from the inside out. So change from the inside out, I think, definitely is... I see that definitely happening with myself because of all of the reading that I do. I wrote a LinkedIn post yesterday, and according to Audible, I read... 265 books in a couple of years so I started 2020 I guess so it's a, it's a, it's a well it's a, it's a lot of listening so it has changed me and change does begin from the inside out so just recognizing that to change externally as much as the behaviors are important you can begin with internal change so these are the insights from the seven habits of highly effective people chapter one we're talking about proactive actions